Hi, my name's Alice Bird. Hi, my name is Vincent Morgan. Hi, my name's Philip. I play Ophelia. I play Anthony. Cleopatra. Othello. Desdemona. And Matt Bess. And Lady Macbeth. And I'm the director of If It Be Love. If It Be Love. Ready? Ready. Oh! The film is made up of pivotal scenes from four of Shakespeare's most famous love tragedies. We take scenes from Othello, Hamlet, Macbeth and Antony and Cleopatra and combine them into one standalone feature film. The aim of our project is to take these four iconic characters from Shakespeare and to show four facets of love and portray it in original and visually stunning sets. And the way we've achieved that is by looking at the emotional content of each scene um, and each play's style that we want to evoke in a more conceptual way than being confined to a particular period in history of costume, for example. So we open the film with Antony and Cleopatra who are madly and passionately in love with each other. We move and progress from that. We end with Othello, a much darker and claustrophobic atmosphere. There's something about Shakespeare that just translates to any space, to any time, to any era. We had an opportunity to do something very original, maybe something that hasn't been seen before. We brought in four separate directors of photography, one for each section of the film, to add a slightly different tint to every story. And now we're basically raising funds to keep production going. So at the moment what we're doing, we are raising funds. Oh! Yes! Why not use this to tell a story, to make it multicultural, uh, to place it in real England? For example, the Brunel Museum has offered us the grand entrance hall of Brunel's Thames Tunnel Shaft, which is where the famous British engineer Brunel dug the very first underwater tunnel in the world. We're going to be at Abney Park Cemetery and the Abney Abbey. We've also been so lucky that Des has agreed to let us use his beautiful Thames working barge, which is the oldest working barge on the Thames estuary. And it dates back to 1881. We've been very lucky for people to really kind of, um, you know, uh, galvanise behind our cause and wanted to help us and also wanting to take some sort of share in, in showing Britain in a different light. And then Hamlet, we've got a surprise in store for you, which involves sculptures. There's going to be a lot of people who are going to be in the same boat as me who are going to get a sense of what the hidden treasures are on our very streets. When the film is finished, we're going to take it as far and wide as possible, starting with film festivals and cultural events around the world. So we'll be entering the film into Shakespeare cultural events around the world and film festivals. We're also speaking to school teachers about how to put together a teaching pack related to the film. Doing projects in schools and um, helping to boost literacy through the dynamism of Shakespeare is something which is great because it, it almost is something which seems so alien uh, to a lot of people and really ain't. And hopefully this will also bring independent filmmaking into secondary schools, something that we think is not done enough. We've just had some exciting news, Ideas Tap. Um, has generously come on board with a sizable sum to put towards our project, aiding us to actually take this to communities to allow them to get the opportunity to be familiar with Shakespeare. Big shout out to Ideas Tap coming on board and helping us, you know, taking it to the people. <laughs> to be honest, Shakespeare was a little bit of a challenge for me at school. I don't think I did as well as uh, most other people did. I'm going to say I struggled with it. Uh, back in the day, I really did. So this film was uh, quite a release and uh, uh, I could really open up my mind and experiment with it. You know, once I had the opportunity to explore it and see the delicacies and the themes and the, the metaphors and, and the rhyming um, which was in it, which was the first thing that brought me into it, was that, hey, you know, I could rap this. You know, and I used to. What inspires me about the film is these great women that Shakespeare wrote. And he wrote more men than women. But this is a film with all the best, juiciest bits of the female characters. And they really go through it. And it's such an honour to be able to work on those absolute juicy moments of the best plays that I've loved ever since I was a child. There's a lot of people who are getting on board this, this train right now, so we're really happy about that because people are really taking to what we're trying to achieve, you know, and that's, that's really big, that's big. We hope it flies and has wings because 
Now is a great time to be doing Shakespeare. Shakespeare's ours. He's of our time. 